this demo, I'll walk you through the process of taking off and estimating a commercial fire alarm project and provide your customer with a customizable quote. To begin, let's log in and create a new project. Click Add New Project and enter the details like project name, description, due date, customer, and project location. Now let's click Add Plans and browse to the drawings. Select and click Upload. This can take a few seconds or a few minutes depending on the file size. Once the upload is complete, click the Takeoff tab to get started on your estimate. We'll first need to set the plan scale, which in this case is depicted as 1 8 inch. You can do this using a predefined scale or by taking a measurement off the drawing and entering the known distance. Let's use one of the doorways that we know are 3 feet. Now apply the scale to the plan and we can begin accurately taking measurements. Below you have some additional markup tools like cloud, annotations, and fire alarm symbols that can be dragged and dropped on the plan for design build purposes. You can also add a legend to your plan and download a PDF copy that includes your markups. Let's go ahead and create a takeoff and we'll start with the horn strobes displayed on the drawing. Keep in mind we have a full fire alarm database of parts, assemblies, wire, and of course you can edit and or create your own database with custom parts, assemblies, and pricing. Once you click add to plan you are in takeoff mode and can begin counting items by hovering your mouse over the desired item single click and then move to the next item. You can move the page by clicking and dragging with your mouse. Let's grab a few more for our example. Now let's add the commercial smoke detectors and get a count of those items depicted on the plans. Again, click Add Takeoff, search the database for the item, make adjustments to the properties, color, symbol, etc. And when you click Add to Plan, you'll be in takeoff mode and can begin counting items by single clicking on each of the items on the drawing. And now we'll just work our way through the drawing and count the smoke detectors as we see them depicted. So just continue to work through, count. As I mentioned before, you can single click, hold, and drag the page to move the plan around. Let's add a new takeoff and get a measurement of the 18-2 plenum rated cable that's specified to connect the devices using our linear measurement. To begin a measurement, single click and drag your mouse along the drawing using single mouse clicks to turn. In our example, the devices are daisy chained together, so we'll use a single cable run to work our way around the drawing as depicted. Now if you make a mistake and need to make a correction, use the backspace key to delete a single segment at a time while staying in takeoff mode. Now when you get to the end of the run, we'll use the double mouse click to end this takeoff. But keep in mind that we are still in takeoff mode and can pick up another cable run without any other action. We exit takeoff mode by clicking the takeoff button. Now let's go ahead and organize our takeoffs and phases by dragging the task up to the Create Group button that now appears. We'll call the first one Pre-Wire, and the rest of the takeoffs we'll call Devices. Now let's change the order to match the install progression that will take place. The phase breakouts will carry over to the estimating step and eventually the customer facing quote. Alright, let's click the Estimating tab and start our adjustments to pricing and labor. Here you can see our takeoffs broken up by the group along with their quantity, material cost, labor factors, and totals. We can make adjustments to the quantity, material price, and labor factor. Let's add a few items that are not visually displayed on the takeoff. In this case, we'll need some cable supports, so let's add 1 inch J-hooks with bat wings and a grid wire shot. You'll need to adjust the quantities appropriately. And because this item is an assembly with subcomponents, we can expand it to see the underlying parts and quantities. Next, let's create a new group called Head and Equipment and add a control panel assembly that includes all the appropriate components like a battery, surge protection, transformer, etc. Adjust your quantity here. Now let's scroll down and take a look at our inclusions and exclusions 
and clarify what is included and excluded in our project pricing and put a note saying how long the quote is valid for. Now we can adjust the burden of labor cost for the project, which is a crew average, our labor and material profit margins, and here you can see the project's projected cost, blended gross profit margin. Below, we can adjust our overhead, lost time, and waste, as well as any appropriate taxes. Finally, click Show Bid, and we can view a customer-facing quote with a custom logo, contact details, and the project pricing broken out with as much or as little detail as you'd like to provide. Click Download PDF, and you can forward along to your customer for approval.